Hey guys, my name is Marwa Atiyok, and if you don't know me already, I am the co-founder and creative director and designer at Vela. Um, I just want to talk to you guys about the new collection and what's going to come out and just the whole BTS process as how much it takes for us to design a collection from making the color to making the fabric to making the print to doing the mood board and the photo shoot, everything in one. So at Vela, like we take so much pride and honor in knowing that we design and make everything in-house. That means all the colors that, that you see are dyed in our dye houses in India, and all the fabric that, that you see is custom woven, you're not going to find it anywhere else, and all of our prints are is made within the team. We design and sketch and do all that all that fun stuff. Um, just from just the color alone, we go through so many different swatches, like one color will have four different shades and we go through such an intense process until the team finally decides which color we want to end up for the mauve or for the maroon. And that's why you'll see with the Neutral Solids collection, we have so many different shades of nudes because I realize that there's so many different skin tones or there's so many different events from like formal to casual where something like this tan viscose would look good with this alpha right here but if i were to go with a more blush mob formal dress ready to go to a wedding i would want to go with something with a more pink undertone but if you have a beige color that has a pink undertone but you naturally have pink pigmentation that's not something that you want so you do want something that has either like a brown or a yellow undertone so we basically created so many different undertones of like beiges so like the tan viscous has more of like a brown pink, the camel is more of like a caramel orange, the nude color has more of a yellow undertone, the buttercream has a slight pink undertone. That way you just have as many options as you possibly want. Another exciting thing is that we are coming out with two different types of fabric. So the standard size is going to be viscose and the double width size is going to be modal. But both fabrics are equally as soft, shiny, and drapeable. They have no difference in terms of quality of comparison. The only difference is that we have a little secret formula of a weight that we set. So something like the standard viscose is the standard viscose size has a very specific weight versus like the double width we want to make sure that it's a very calculated gram that way when you fold it in half it still feels light and airy but at the same exact time it's not as transparent. Like there's a reason why it takes us half a year to come out with another collection and it's just because we invest so much time and so much care into every single color and every single fabric. Um, not only that, um, for us to get into the process of the photo shoots, this time around um, it was really fun being super creative with the photo shoot and creatively directing the whole entire process and just being invested in every single aspect. Um, the first things first that we come out with is a mood board. We gather a lot of inspirations of things that we want the photo shoot to look like, of, from makeup to um, like the feel and the concept and the inspiration. I was really inspired by Dead Roses. This for so for this photo shoot, we played around with that. I love going through all the creative process with Vela, so it was super exciting to coming up with the creative side with the photographer for the photo shoot, and I love being invested in um, the makeup aspect of it, like doing the model's makeup, to styling the model's clothing, to just like being on call in almost every single aspect of it. I just love to just throw myself into the work and um, I want it to be more personable and I feel like with this photo shoot you guys are really able to see that. This photo shoot I really wanted it to be more about embracing the girl. I wanted you I wanted you to be able to see the girl's personality. So it wasn't so much about the outer shell or the skin tone much as it was about embracing what that girl was naturally beautiful for or embracing her culture. So in certain photos you're able to see the person's background or you're able to see that person's personality more through it. I didn't want Vela to kind of cover it all up. I kind of wanted it to kind of be like Vela enhanced it. And I'm really excited for you guys to see the photo shoots and the photos. If you go on Instagram or the website, you're clearly able to see it. And we definitely pushed the boundaries. This photo shoot was all about pushing boundaries. I wanted to show my creativity and I wanted to show my, art, my artistic side and it was like as if you opened my mind and you were able to see how art creatively my thought process if that makes any sense to you guys hopefully it does but it was just a lot of, a lot of fun to put the shoot together and the girls were amazing and the team was amazing each team member 
from Vela played such an important role to make this photo shoot happen and um, hopefully you guys can see like all that hard work and all the process that it goes to and you guys like this little behind the scenes video of what I show you guys as to just a slight snippet of what it takes to create the collection to doing the photo shoots. Please don't forget to join the Vela fam, so don't forget to just like and subscribe and do all those fun things to let me know that you're a part of this. And comment below and let me know what other things that you guys would like to see. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video because I enjoyed talking about it. Um, if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And yeah, until next time.